The course description. Listen, I'm not going to read that to you word for word, but let me, let me tell you about this. First off, I feel, um, I can't believe it. L l yo, you're in a class about hip hop. I mean, it, it's insane to me, you know, to think when I was in college that there, you know, there would be a class like this offered at a, you know, um, a significant institution, you know, academic institution. I feel extremely privileged to teach this class, um, I, you know, and especially as like, you know, someone who's been a hip hop head, you know, been a practitioner of the arts, a fan of the arts, a historian of the arts, whatever you want to say, who came, you know, to academia from hip hop, you know, with that background, you know, um, I'm very, I'm very thrilled to be in this position and to offer, you know, what I've gleaned um, in 30 plus years, um, you know, and share that with y'all, um, you know, and, and also, you know, here I am in a class which is essentially, you know, uh, you know, an African American history class, you know, this is a, a, a class about, you know, black and brown people and the, the art and, and, and culture and music, you know, that, that comes from, you know, black and brown kids in New York City, you know, and, and poor black and brown kids who, you know, were the victims of institutional racism, you know, direct racism, all that, all that stuff, which we'll go through in, the, in this course, you know, um, you know, and here I am teaching, teaching this class. So, I mean, you know, I understand my positionality here and, and you know, with hip hop, I also get to, you know, like it's not my party. You know what I'm saying? I get to hang out at the party as long as I'm a respectful participant. You know what I'm saying? Respect, respect, you know, people's house. I don't, I take my shoes off at the door. You know what I'm saying? I don't spill my drink, you know, um, you know, all that. If you kind of, if you kind of get what I'm saying there. So, you know, basically what is this class? This class is, we're going to review the history, the culture, um, and the aesthetics of hip hop music historically. And we're going to look at all sorts of different types of music. You can hear all sorts of different types of music. Maybe you've never heard, um, or stuff maybe you've recognized in music that you listen to now. And we're really going to spend our time on the seventies, eighties and nineties. Um, and then kind of talk about um, you know, 2000s and, and kind of where we're at now. Um, so this is a history class, you know, and so we're looking at the development of styles, of techniques, of certain aesthetics, you know, um, you know, that help to frame and give birth to the culture and form the culture and these aesthetic priorities over, over time, you know. Um, so, um, yeah, that's kind of what we're going to look at you can read the full description, but I mean, we look at this, this art form that went from like these, you know, um, that was developed by these kids, literally kids, you know, like teenage kids in one of the most, um, you know, poorest, most forgotten about, um, communities, the South Bronx, New York city, you know, um, in the seventies, you know, who gave birth to essentially a multi-billion dollar industry and, um, you know, form of expression and all that stuff. So we're going to kind of look at that trajectory and we're going to focus on certain moments. You know, hip hop is, you know, almost 50 years old, you know, technically. So there is so much there. There, like, I, you know, there's so much there. So we hit on moments, but there's just so much there. I can't talk about every single SoundCloud rapper out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we don't even talk about that actually. But what I'm saying is, like, there's just so many moments. We just try to hit like the big moments, just to kind of give you a little bit of background of 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 a music and art that maybe you love, or maybe you're a participant. You know, maybe you're a B girl. Um, maybe you're a writer, you know, a graffiti writer, <clears throat> you know, maybe you're a beat maker, DJ, MC, you know, all, all that stuff. So um, you can read through the expected learning outcomes, um, workload for this class. I mean, obviously, basically how this class is structured is you have uh, two modules per week. They will take you approximately two-ish hours um, two and a half hours to complete maybe some of the readings, um, you know, and watch the lecture videos, complete the quiz, um, do a weekly response. Um, and then in weeks where you have take home essays, take home exams, um, which are short essays, you know, you're going to need a little more time there, a few more hours there. 
on the week you have a presentation, so you need a little bit more time there. Um, but you know, so you, you know, and then you have an hour discussion section. So I mean, you're gonna probably need 10, 12 hours a week of, of time to really kick some ass in this class, all right? All right, my favorite part of being an instructor at a university is grades no hell no it ain't my favorite part it's my least favorite part um it's your least favorite part it's my least favorite part because of how crazy grades make y'all um i hate them i don't like them but we gotta do them you know this ain't evergreen college where we you know hold hands in a drum circle and talk about it and i give y'all a's i wish it was like that that's kind of like more my style um <clears throat> but anyways um so how are you graded? Quizzes. Almost every module has a quiz. So you do two modules per week. Um, in the last two weeks, it's only one per week. And in the first week, it's only one. So you have a little bit of, e it's a little easier as we get towards the end and at the beginning. But there's approximately 15 or 16 quizzes. I'll talk about those in a few seconds here. Um, you have your weekly discussion responses. So you, I give you prompts uh, each week and you write a little bit and you print it out and you bring it to your discussion section. It's your attendance, that's worth 10%. You have to do a presentation, a formal academic style presentation in your discussion section, which is worth uh, 30%. And then you're, you have three take home essays that are worth 10% each on your final grade. A couple very important things. I know some of y'all love to get A pluses and 100s. Boy, you feel good. Mom, Dad, I got an A plus in that class. That shit don't exist, yo. It don't exist on a 4.0 scale, right? If the 4, the 4.0 is the top, how can you go above the top? I just have an issue with it. I don't give out A pluses, but in this class you can get an A and that's a fantastic, a beautiful, fantastic grade. In reality, you're never gonna get 100. You can always just do a little bit better. So I, I give 99s but whatever, you know, the computer grades, the quizzes, um, you know, you could get a hundred, you know, so I, you know, but what, what I'm saying is I will never give you, if I can give, subjectively give you a 100, I'll give you a 99, because you can always do better. You don't want to get complacent in yourself, you know what I'm saying? But an A plus don't exist. I don't do that. That's like a gold star for, you know, not going potty in your pants in class, right? That's what I did for my kid when I was potty training him. All right. 